Previously on The Potentialists. The calls are not being done. Something's wrong. All right, but this is like doing This is becoming a constant thing. No, it's not. No, no, and no. This is not a gimmick. And I hate you saying that. Because I know. Not. You hate it, and I hate when you do it. We're all not robots. This is what a reality show is about. We're going to challenge you. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. You're getting comfortable. Every time you become comfortable, find one thing that you can do to make yourself uncomfortable. Because growth comes when one person is not comfortable. What can you do to force you to stay on track? If you want to stay on track, maybe you don't. Maybe, you know, hey, you know what, this, I don't need this bullshit. You're right, you don't need it, but I don't need it either. And those are rough words, and I know how you take it, coming from the street and everything, that's wonderful, but it's not here to try to bash you. It's not about you. I swear to God, it's not about you. But if you're gonna be that strong in public, then you gotta back it up. And the thing is that you say a lot of promises in front of people, I'd rather you not promise me something, undercommit and overdeliver, than to overcommit and underdeliver. And you are doing the latter to me. You know, I haven't. A, a, I always do that. Where and this is true. I promise because I always want to help people and I want to do what I do. And you're co absolutely correct. I do overpromise and deliver because I commit to things that I should actually be saying no. no. And I do that constantly. I agree with you 100. percent And I'm trying my damnedest to change those things. My biggest problem is that if I say no to somebody, I feel that it's going to be like a bad thing to say no. So I say yes, and then all I do is get myself frustrated and pissed off. I think that in your world, no one's ever even dared to talk to you the way we did today. Have I ever disrespected you or ever come off in the wrong way to when we talk like this? It's just that sometimes you don't disrespect. No. You never disrespect. No. Never said that. That's what I'm saying. You're getting no. messages. Yeah, I, I, you're I, aggressive. You don't disrespect. It seems that way because of your aggression. But you've never disrespected. He has this, his intellect kicks in. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts using, you know, alternative words. Which to is great. Describe. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the aggression. Here is about pushing out the best potential you have, no matter what it takes. That's what you sign up for. This is military boot camp. If you sign up for this boot camp, you got two options. Follow the rules or get the f out. We're still friends though. We still chill. No, you're still big pop in my life. But, uh, because that won't change. You can't be objective about yourself unless you can step out and see yourself, and that has been an issue of mine for a long time. I signed up for this. Nobody pushed me to this. I came here because I was in the dumps. I needed help to get up to energize my life again. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't prepared for the help that I was getting, and, um, an issue happened uh, a couple of days ago. What, you wanna fight with me? Is that the That's called tough love, bro. Bro, and you know that I fucking love you in my heart, motherfucker. If you love me, show me. Stop doing the same shit. Because you're wasting my fucking time. I agree, brother. I you're agree. doing your actions speak louder than words. Your words are beautiful. Your actions suck. Okay. It's the same shit every time. Guess what? This wonderful, beautiful man did not allow me to run away. I love that man with all my heart. Yeah, excuse me. I love that man with all my heart because he looks out for me. And all I do is fight him. And uh, let's just say I would have made the mistake of a lifetime going to an ugly place, which I've lived in for way, way too long because of my ungodly, ugly anger. And that's one of the things that uh, I'm working on. That's why I'm here. And that's why I love him because he makes me better. He challenges me at all times. So Bert, thank you. I love you. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?